Hey everybody, it's John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. Welcome back to another episode of my adventures into 3D printing. Dealing with the problem here, my Solvo SV06 does not seem to be too answered on any internet platform. I have a filament sale. I can't get my filament out. It won't come out for anything. I mean, no matter what I do, I push my thing in, I, can't, I still can't get it out. It won't come out for anything. If you're having the same problem, I've got a solution. Check it out. And now I have done my due diligence on how to fix this problem. It, it shouldn't even be a problem to be completely honest with you. I've gotten in here, there is a change filament setting within the Solvo SV06, but it does not really do a whole lot in my opinion. Some people have recommended turning the extruder up to 220 degrees to get that heated up and then you can pull it out a lot easier. Some people have recommended completely taking apart the extruder or turning the extruder wheel and just being able to pull that out. But when you turn that extruder wheel, it almost wants to go back to the exact position that it was in. I have not really found that that works too well but what I have found that works every single time is just running the auto home function you don't need to take your extruder apart you don't need to turn it up to 220 degrees what you need to do let the auto home function run let the extruder heat up to where it needs to heat up to let the bed heat up let the 3d printer run its program because what we have going on here is there's just a really little weird tail that gets created when you let the extruder cool off with that filament in there and that little tail for lack of a better term just gets prairie dogged up in there in that extruder and it will not come out for anything you can yank on that thing you can you're gonna break the 3d printer is what you're gonna do you're gonna break your extruder do not test it do not test on how hard you can pull it ah, it might come out it's not gonna come out it's gonna break it run your auto home function let everything heat up and it's gonna come out let's do it all right let's do a little run through on how to do the auto home function get this heated up and grab that filament out of there but first i want to just show you where the change filament setting is bada boom right there you can click on that do whatever you need to do uh, we're not gonna go to that bed leveling auto home proceed and she'll do the thing alrighty as you can see we're all heated up here we got the bed at 60 degrees the extruder is at 120 degrees let's tear into this let's push our button and see if we can't pull it out all right let's get this filament out of here and move on with our lives so you get your little spring-loaded button right there and then you get your little plastic lip we're gonna pull the lip towards the button this is all heated up so it should just come right out hopefully and yep Yep, there we go. All right, and then you can see the little tail that's on the end of it right there. That is what is preventing us from pulling the filament out. It gets caught up in that extruder, but once it gets warmed up on the auto home function, you can use a change filament. You can heat your extruder up to really, really hot. I don't think it's a necessity. This works every time with the auto home function. Like I said, I was able to plan this video. I was able to print something, let the filament sit in there, and trust it so much that I shot a video about it. So uh, I think you'll be able to put faith in the auto home function when you need to unload your filament. Filament. And as far as unloading your filament from your extruder, that's pretty much it. The auto home function works for me every single time. This is about the only problem that I have dealt with so far with my Solvo SV06. If you guys are having any additional problems, please list them in the comment section and I'll try to do a video on any problem that you guys are having. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next episodes on how to 3D print anything that you want. I've got some awesome things coming out here. This is John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.